This brand new 6 foot 9 all around superstar build is absolutely dominating NBA 2K24. This build gets the nastiest contact dunks. It can also green from limitless range as well. And it gets some pretty cool ankle breaker animations and it can speed boost. And most importantly, it gets consistent steals and it protects the paint. So leave a like right now and subscribe for more build videos. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the culture. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best build on NBA 2K24. Now, I want you guys to know I mainly play the 1v1 court. There's some attributes that you don't need in the ones court, but you can look at this build as a template and you can change it to your needs and the way you want to make this build. All right, so let's get right into it. So for the position, I went shooting guard so I can go six foot nine. At point guard, the max you can go is six foot eight. So we got to go shooting guard. And we're going to go up to six foot nine. Now the weight, I'm going to put it at 186 to make sure that I do get that 74 strength that is important. And the wingspan, we're going with seven foot three. Now the reason we're going with a seven foot three wingspan span is so we can unlock a lot of shooting badges and it is worth it i promise you guys are going to see later on it's crazy all right so let's start off with the physicals in the build speed we're going to go ahead and put that all the way up to an 80 now we could go 81 but there's really no point you don't get an extra badge and honestly we could use that later on in the build so we're going to stick with an 80 but the main reason we're going with an 80 speed is to unlock that silver hyperdrive Acceleration, we're going to max that out so we can get silver fast feet. I promise you, 73 acceleration is worth it. Put acceleration on your builds. We're going to go ahead and put that strength all the way up to a 74 so we can unlock that bronze bulldozer. And I'm telling you guys, it is completely worth it. Don't go 73 strength. 74 strength is worth it because I'm telling you, man, you get some crazy animations with the bronze bulldozer badge. All right, so for the vertical, in my opinion, you want to put 82 so you can unlock the contact dunks. So go 82 vertical and the stamina, um, I went ahead and maxed it out at 99. You can put it at 96, but the way I made this build, these were where the extra attributes were left over. So I just went 99. All right, so for your close shot, just go ahead and put that at 67 because your driving dunk naturally is just going to bring that up to there. Um, so for your driving layup, though, you're going to want to put that all the way up to 87. And I know a lot of people aren't going with a high driving layup this year. And it's actually insane because a lot of people don't know about how overpowered the layup animations really are in this game. Now, at an 87 driving layup, guys, you unlock the LeBron James layup animation. When I tell you guys this layup animation is overpowered, it's literally better than dunking the ball. It's, it's actually very OP. You guys definitely need to try it out. But also, at an 87 driving layup, we also unlock gold fearless finisher. And that badge is insane. And as you guys can see, we get gold acrobat. We also get gold aerial wizard. We get Pro Touch on Hall of Fame and Scooper on Hall of Fame, Spin Cycle Hall of Fame, and Giant Slayer, which is actually nuts. Okay, so for the driving dunk, probably the most favorite part about this build, you're going to want to go ahead and put that all the way up to 94, ladies and gentlemen. And take a look at the badges we get. We get Gold Posterizer, Hall of Fame, Slithery Finisher. Okay, that badge is insane. We get Gold Precision Dunker. We get Hall of Fame Bunny, Hall of Fame Spin Cycle, and also Hall of Fame Two-Step. And I forgot to mention, at a 94 driving dunk, you get literally every single contact dunk in the game, except for the last one, which I don't even really think is needed. But at a 94 driving dunk, you go crazy with the contact dunks. They are nasty. And your standing dunk is naturally going to be at a 49. You can't put that down um, because it'll bring your driving dunk down. So you got to leave it at 49. But at 49, you also get a lot of the standing dunk animations as well. You're six foot nine. You know what I mean? You're going to be going crazy. Now, for the most important attribute in this build, in my opinion, is the post control. Now, the post control, you're going to want to put that all the way up to 92. And as you guys can see, you get that gold unpluckable. And if you play a lot of 1v1s like me, you're naturally, people are going to quit, especially if they go up against you on this build. People are going to quit a lot. And you guys know AIs are so annoying in this game. But if you have post control, you know what I mean? As you guys can see, you get Hall of Fame post spin technician. You get a lot. You know, you get drop stepper, post fade phenom. You get a lot of post badges, but if you go up against AIs, you can just back them down, do a drop step or do a post spin, and it's a free dunk every single time. You guys know AIs are ridiculous in this game, and they need to be patched. But with a 92 post control, you're not going to struggle up against AIs, and you're going to get free dub against those AIs. But overall, slashing and finishing has got to be the most fun aspect about this build, man. There's so many ways you can finish in the paint, and that's because of the insane ratings and badges that we get on this build. I'm telling you, man, when you have badges like Hall of Fame Slithery, Hall of Fame Bunny, Hall of Fame Pro Touch, etc., etc., you're going to be unstoppable 
And like I mentioned, the LeBron layup package is insane. That's one of the main reasons why I went with an 87 driving layup is to use this animation. And like I said, I think it's more overpowered than actual dunk animations to a certain extent. The animation itself is so glitchy, like your player stops and then glides vertically and horizontally towards the rim. And it hardly ever gets contested, especially against shorter players. And like I said, having contact dunks on this build makes this build 10 times more fun. So I'm telling you, make sure you go with a 94 driving dunk. I'm having fun on this build slashing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on to the shooting. This is a really cheesy build when it comes to shooting. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to put our mid range all the way up to an 88. Now, as you guys can see, once we max this out, look at the badges that we get. We get green machine on gold, space creator on gold, guard up gold, midi magician gold, and open looks on gold. Those badges right there solely is what makes this build cheesy when it comes to shooting. Okay, this build is insane when it comes to fading from the mid range. So I'm telling you, gold green machine is probably the most important part about this build. Gold green machine and midi magician. It's literally OP. All right, so for the three ball, you're going to want to put that all the way up to a 78. Now, listen, like I said, this is a template. If you're not that good of a shooter and you, you know, you think you need like a you know, maybe like an 81, 82 three ball, you can tweak this build as much as you want. Honestly, I probably could have gone with a 76 three ball, but just to play it safe, I went with a 78 three ball. I mean, look at the badges that I get. Silver blinders, catch and shoot on gold, even though I mainly play ones. Um, dead eye, silver, agent three on bronze. Look at these badges. I mean, I'm telling you, it, as long as you can shoot on this game, you'll be fine with a 78 three ball. Now for me, I'm a very strategic player. I shoot 76% from three on this build. And the main reason is I don't shoot threes unless I have takeover or I'm completely left wide open from three. Now, as you guys know, 2K24 is a tricky game, especially if you're on a taller guard. And that's why I went with such a high mid-range rating. I play super cheesy. I shoot those fading mid-range shots, and I abuse badges like Gold Mini Magician and Gold Green Machine. Now, once you shoot a lot of mid-range shots and dunking the ball over and over again, you unlock sharp take. It's over with. I promise you, it is over. I can literally shoot from limitless range on this build, and I don't even have limitless range on bronze. Now, I think this build is perfect for you if you like to play smart. I don't three hunt, okay? I'm six foot nine. I don't move as fast as little guard, so I don't like the three hunt. I get open, I get buckets, and that's what this build is meant to be used for. Now, for the ball handle, max that out at 80. For the sole reason, you know, you just you just want max ball control. You're already six foot nine, so 80 is pretty solid. And you also get silver handles for days. All right, so for speed with ball, you're gonna wanna put that up to 75. And the main reason you want 75 is not even for the badges. It is for the Magic Johnson dribble style, which is the best one in the game for taller guards. Literally everyone is making six foot eights and below so they can get the normal speed boost. But to be honest, I have speed booster on bronze. And honestly, I move just as fast using the Magic Johnson dribble style. And if I really wanna be able to do the normal speed boost i can just activate playmaking takeover and i can speed boost just like everyone else playmaking wise this build can literally do it all i mean it gets consistent ankle breakers it's speed boost and it can most importantly just get open like i mentioned earlier in the video this is a 1v1 build okay so this is a template for you if you want to change it you can if you want to play twos or threes on this build the pass accuracy is a 50 I'm not passing it to anyone, okay? So for me, 50 pass accuracy is the way to go. I can't lower it or else it's gonna drop my speed with ball and my ball handle. So for the interior defense, we're going with a 74 to unlock that post lockdown badge on bronze. Now, I'm telling you, man, I don't play up against post scores anymore because now the 1v1 court is uh, position based. So even when I was going up against post scores, I was still holding my own and getting a lot of stops. Now, I think the bare minimum interior defense on this build should be 74. If you wanna go higher, you can go higher but I would not go lower than a 74. Now for the perimeter, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna put that all the way up to an 87. So on this player, I went with an 87 perimeter so we can unlock that gold challenger. All right, so for my still rating, we're going with an 85 still so we can get that silver glove. I'm telling you, that's all you need. You don't even need it on gold, bro. Steals are so overpowered right now, you'll be straight with silver glove. Block rating, leave it at a 34 and defensive rebound, leaving at a 44 as well. On this build, I get so many plug steals and people rage at me in game chat, it's hilarious. Now the key is to just tap square when the ball handler is standing still right in front of you. That's literally all you gotta do. And I have silver glove and I get unlimited steals on this game. And like I mentioned, I also get gold challenger so I can stop these small guards from left riding and getting open looks now i know a lot of people in the comment section are gonna say oh my god why is your block so low i'm telling you right now just to be blunt you don't need a block rating if you're a good defender in this game especially on the ones all you got to do stay in front of your man and the interior defense rating will do its thing hold your right stick up you'll be straight i promise overall this build is an absolute menace for the 1v1 court and like i said feel free to make changes this is just a template obviously if you play twos or threes or fives 
you're going to want to put your pass accuracy up a little bit more other than a 50. You know what I mean? But overall, this build is a menace. I absolutely love it. If you guys want more build videos, drop a like, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys in the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.